the fecal matter is taken out with the uh, quantity of 250 grams. No, no, this is not the quantity of 250 grams, this is the whole thing. Okay. Now we have to measure it. Alright. So, we will begin the measuring process. This is a 90 gram container. So, we will take three scoops of it, which is approximately 90 uh, 250 grams. grams. Okay. So, we use spatula, all of this is already uh, washed with saline. Okay. As you can see, the fecal matter is measured in a cup and taken out before putting in the mixer grinder. Now it is being put in the mixer grinder with the measuring cup. Of course, the measurement cannot be and is not accurate, but, but it will have some reference. Just so you guys know this smells like madness. Yes. This one approximately 200 grams only. Okay. Now we have to put approximately two hundred fifty grams of salt. Can you pass me the tissue paper, please? Yes. No, no. We're making a video. So. Okay. Because this gets messy, so you have to keep the tissue paper handy almost the whole time. There's also a dustbin which I can find along with. I will give you one dustbin. So now we have to measure 250 ml of saline water. Add it to the mixture. Of course, I believe none of this has to be accurate, but just in the ballpark. You would have seen the pictures, all, the, all of these things, the utensils have been washed with saline water to get rid of anything that's not required. Now the jar is set and we can do away with 
the plate will be between the wash later. You can discard the wood. Wow. The is there, you can remove it. Ah, okay, nice. Dip, no. <coughs> now I have to make sure that there's a hole usually at the top. From where then that you see, you might want to cover it. I learned it the hard way the last time. Anyway, so you start with the slow <laughs> Once you have the mixture going, you really want to make it consistent. Such things will keep happening, so you have to be more comfortable with your poop. That's fine. That's fine. Doesn't matter. It's a part of the game. So, as you can see, this is not as as uh, I don't know liquid as we would want to be. So we would want to add a little more, a little bit more saline, so that it, it can actually pass through the strainer. Right now, this will not be able to pass through the strainer. It'll add just a little bit more of saline. To make it more fluid, so to speak. And then right now I'm in need of tissue paper. Oh. Okay. Just a little bit more. Otherwise, this will not go through the strainer, and that will not be nice. Everything is washed 
Let's say that you don't want any more of it. You want us to buy? No, I'm good. She's a good one. Now, tool. You <coughs> pass it through the string. As you will see, not much of it comes out at the first go. So what you want to do is you pour, you want to pour it out completely onto the string. Huh? I want one. And then what you do is you have to stir it like that so that hook can actually pass through. And boom then passes through. You have to remember that you have to prepare approximately 350 ml of strained poop. So you have to really be patient with the straining process. This is actually the most gross part. You have to actually make contact with it. But this is the step on which the consistency of the spoon is no, so the spoon wouldn't help because you have to actually touch the strainer. But since you're wearing gloves, it should matter all that much. It's just that you feel gross. That's all. That is it. And so you pour the whole of it. Like I said, this was not going to be pretty. The straining part is not pretty at all. And from my fingers, I can feel that small granules of poop which shouldn't have gone through are still retained in the strainer. And I think that is what we were going for, so they're fine. jar in the bowl. I'll just clean my fingers. So you want another glove? We can change the glove now. That's fine. I think that will be more messy than... No, because in that case you can wear uh, you can syringes and all that. Don't worry. It's fine. It's just poop. Okay. I could really re use dustbin though. Okay. I can see. I can get to. Okay, so... Now we are through with the most difficult parts. We only have to put them in the syringes. I will quickly get the syringes. Take this cotton and throw it on the castor. All the caps are together. Right, so we have seven syringes and all of them have to have approximately 50 ml of here oh. so we'll start now if you have done this right and if the consistency is all right this should have no problem coming up the injection the syringe you see this comes up easily and you have to make sure that we get 50 ml in each one and right now also oh, tissue is a lifesaver. You can put it here. Set of 
syringe with approximately 50 ml of strain blended poop. And this is the exact same steps that we are going to repeat for six more syringes. Thanks for watching.